It begins with a mistake, one that should have ruined everything, but instead it changed the modern world. In the early 1800s, rubber was a dream material with a fatal flaw. It melted into sticky sludge in summer heat and turned brittle as glass in winter cold. Inventors promised miracles, investors lost fortunes and factories collapsed under piles of useless latex. Rubber was unstable, unreliable, almost cursed. And standing at the centre of this obsession was a desperate man named Charles Goodyear. Goodyear wasn't a trained chemist. He was a man drowning in debt, driven by obsession, convinced that rubber could be saved if he just found the right process. His life unravelled around the experiment. Missed meals, unpaid rent, family possessions pawned for chemicals, friends mocked him, creditors chased him, but he kept going, kneading, heating, mixing, failing again and again. Late nights blurred into early mornings. The air of his workspace stank of sulphur and burned latex. His hands were cracked raw. Still, nothing worked. Rubber softened. Rubber cracked. Rubber betrayed him every time. Then one winter evening in 1839, everything went wrong. A lump of rubber mixed with sulphur slipped from his hands and landed on a hot stove. Goodyear froze. He expected a mess, melting, bubbling, ruin. Instead, something impossible happened. The rubber charred, but didn't melt. He picked it up. It was firm, elastic. When stretched, it snapped back. When cooled, it stayed flexible. It didn't smear, it didn't shatter, it held its shape like it had learned a new rule of nature. This was no accident anymore. This was a turning point. Goodyear tested it again and again. Heat and sulphur had permanently transformed rubber at the molecular level, locking its structure into something strong, resilient and stable. He had discovered vulcanization, named after Vulcan, the Roman god of fire, without meaning to. But the struggle didn't end there. Goodyear couldn't afford patents. Others copied his process. While rubber factories rose and industries exploded, tyres, belts, seals, shoes, Goodyear himself died poor, still fighting legal battles, still believing the world would one day understand what he'd given it. And today, nearly everything that moves, stretches, seals, or protects owes its existence to that single mistake. A dropped lump of rubber, a hot stove, and a man too stubborn to quit. It's a reminder that progress doesn't always arrive as genius inspiration. Sometimes it falls into the fire by accident. If this story surprised you, inspired you, or made you see invention in a new light, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Your support helps this channel keep uncovering the hidden stories behind the world we live in.